a couple other schools, but um, yeah, no, I was pretty close to that time. Okay, yeah, I thought I would have been a little bit ahead of you, but yeah, <laughs> yeah, just, yeah I remember just those games really vividly. No, I, me too. Were, I remember watching it, yeah. They, I think both were like a touchdown final. Oh, except no, yeah, they were both great games. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah so just, um, you're a senior this year, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Congratulations. Yeah. Uh, so how was uh, that in Colorado, uh, and then what made you decide to come to OU? You know, with with Matt at six zero strength and um, Parker Colorado, he, he he really does a great job of developing offensive linemen in high school. Um, you know, he takes <clears throat> offensive linemen all shapes and sizes. He takes the skinny guys, gets them to be big. He takes the really fat guys, gets them to be an offensive lineman. Uh, mentally, you know, being able to um, pick apart the offense, uh, pick apart defensive fronts, coverages. Um, that's something that's helped me a lot. That he's helped me a lot with is being able to look at the look at the game of football from an aerial standpoint, and being able to look at all the moving parts on the field. And uh, with that, with the development, you know, the strength conditioning, the technique, he does a great job, and he's one of the biggest reasons why I'm here and being able to play and dominate uh, in the game of football. And then uh, why I came to OU. Um, OU with me. Um, it's always been the win the winning program that OU's been for decades and decades. When I leave this place, we're going to still be winning. Before I got here, we were winning. And so, you know, that's the <clears throat> that's the biggest factor with me. I wanted to be at a place where winning culture is, that's the standard. And, and if you don't win, there's something wrong. And, um, and you know, that that's the, the standard, the culture, the tradition here is, is a winning program. And, and I'm glad I'm here to help contribute. Absolutely. Are you excited for spring ball in the spring game? I'm super excited. I'm super excited. Whatever team I'm on, um, you know, we're going to make a run and try to win that thing. But um, super excited for the competition. Um, new football. So it's, you know, it's going to be my first collegiate practice. And, um, <clears throat> being able to, you know, compete with the guys and, and really come together as uh, Team 129. It'll be super cool. So. Awesome. And then how's the transition been from Durango to Norman? Uh, a little bit windier up here, I would say. That's one thing. Colorado, you don't got wind like that. You know, you don't got the 50 mile an hour winds. Uh, mountains, mountains protect you, but... Um, you know, I think the, the, really the big thing is, you know, the transition to schedules. So being in a packed schedule here and back home, it wasn't as packed like that. So that's probably the biggest transition, but it's pretty smooth all in all. Awesome. And then coming to a place in Durango where you all have to routine, like make those long bus trips, uh, how do you think that's prepared you for having kind of to make some of these longer Big 12 trips, especially with BYU and Cincinnati now on the schedule on the road? Oh, absolutely. I think I'm used to traveling seven hours, eight hours a piece. I mean, you talk about, I mean, I went to Holy Family in Broomfield, which if you look up Broomfield to Durango, it's like seven and a half hours. You know, it's it's no salt, it's no small trip. So every every away game we play in Durango, I mean, it's five to four to seven to eight hours away. So especially in the playoff season. Uh, so the long plane rides, the long bus rides, I'm very used to that and very prepared. So. Awesome. Thank yeah. you so much. No, Great absolutely. To meet you. Yeah, thank you. How's it going, Josh? Good. How are you? Good. You mentioned your, uh, you know, offensive line coach and the training back home. Did yeah. did you get any guidance to come to Oklahoma? Like, what what was that conversation like? You know, I think I think Matt at six zero. He uh, training in Colorado with him. Uh, he knows Coach Beanbo very well. He's he's got players to come on visits here um, previous, <clears throat> previously in the past. And um, the thing with that is, he told me he's like, dude. You, he said you're a fierce competitor. You like to win, and you're sometimes a little too competitive. You know, and he said, and Coach Beanbo at Oklahoma is just like that. So he's like, if you want to be anywhere. You know, with that with that competitive edge and that winning culture and that fierce and you know brutal mentality towards football, he's like, go play at Oklahoma. And so I always kept that into consideration throughout my whole recruiting process. So and led me perfectly to where I want to be. When that when you first had that conversation with Coach Beanbo, the first time you guys you know interacted, could you kind of pick up on that right away that you guys had the same mentality and mindset? You know, I think you know I, I did make it. You know, it's a little bit different, but. Um, I think my first initial thought is, is watching him coach. Um, it's definitely it's definitely a different type of coaching. Like not a whole lot of people coach like that. You know, everything has to be perfect. You know, there's a standard, and you know you take you take the hard way every single time. You know, there is no easy way to play offensive line. And so, watching him do that, and I remember telling him, I'm like, dude, I'm I'm like, coach, I'm I'm mean, I'm physical. You know, I'm gonna bring it every single play. And he told me he's like, those are the guys we need. 
So ever since then, I, I wanted to come play here. So, yeah. And how, how has it been, you know, so far kind of getting acclimated to the rest of the group, the team, the, the linemen around you, and actually interacting with, you know, Coach Biedenbaugh on a, on a daily basis? You know, it's been it's been awesome. The players have done a great job taking me under my wing. I mentioned uh, McKay Matower, um, you know, Andrew Rehm, and Jacob Sexton, Jake Taylor. They've all done a good job of showing me the ropes, you know, really <clears throat> showing me how to, you know, break down film, you know, how they do it here, uh, being able to, um, you know, get prepared for Schmidt and uh, get, go throughout my day and, and do the best thing to prepare myself throughout the season. So they've done a great job and super blessed to have them. How has that been, uh, you know, <coughs> working out with Schmidt and kind of um, seeing a different side of, of workouts, you know, maybe that are, are different than, than what you've had before? Oh, absolutely. You know, Schmidt's no joke. There's a, reason, there's a reason why there's a there's a, there's a, a mindset and everyone has this thing about Schmidt is because it's true. Like, the guy is for real. Uh, and he does a great job of, you know, beating you down every single day and, you know, getting you tired and getting you stronger, faster, you know, more agile, more flexible. So, um, you know, the last couple of weeks working out with him, definitely, you know, felt myself, you know, feel better, you know, being able to, you know, the, the eating too, the nutrition staff yeah. does a great job in that whole transition. Uh, with the training and the, the, the food and the nutrition has been great. So. OU's kind of developed, you know, a, a pipeline to the NFL for offensive linemen, and that's kind of, you know, what they're what they're becoming known for. Ha, I'm curious, have you talked to any of those guys that, you know, are in the NFL right now or that have come through OU? How, have, how's your relationship with, you know, some of those older guys? Yeah, no, actually, I actually have. I've talked to uh, Creed Humphrey. I met him on my second visit here. I met Creed, um, I met Orlando Brown, uh, Lane Johnson, you know, he follows me too. So uh, being able to, you know, talk to those guys and get the, um, really just the, the input from like their, their advice on coming here, you know, why you should come here and, and you know, the, the things that you, you're able to do when you leave this place is, it's a big, it's a big deal. And, uh, learning from them and watching them and, and their careers, it's, it's another thing that made me want to come here. So. Did that? Did their did their advice kind of help seal the deal for you and, and show you you know this is where I could be in a few years? Creed did, it. yeah, hundred percent. Creed, Creed Humphrey, yeah, he he told me he's like, listen, man, he's like, you want to play? Uh, you, he's like, you want to play offensive line and you want to play center? He's like, you come here. And I was like, all right. <laughs> and now he's a Super Bowl. Then, then about Super yeah, now he's a Super Bowl champ. And about two months after that, I committed. So yeah. Where where I'm I'm curious where your love for football began you know growing up and just like wh where did that start for you what what age when did that come about yeah so i'll just tell you this i played soccer in second grade and uh, my mom made me do it i couldn't play football just yet football starts in third grade so second grade um we're playing soccer and i run across the field and just wipe this kid out just take him head over heels boom. they card me and they take me out of the game i've always been too aggressive so then i go to wrestling I wrestled for probably 13 years of my life. And then my dad's like, hey, man, he's like, hey, football's always an option too. You know? <clears throat> so around, yeah, third grade, fourth grade, played football. And um, ever since then, I've loved the violence and uh, just really the, you know, the, the, the contact and the, the physicality of the sport is why I love it. And ever since, ever since that little age, I was knocking kids over, winning wrestling matches. And, uh, you know, you know, really just when it comes to, you know, a uh, competitive, you know, athletic standpoint, I've always been that wrecking ball. And so uh, football is a perfect sport for that. So that's why I love it. Did you have a favorite team growing up that you were kind of attached to that helped that, <coughs> helped that love grow? Um, you know, what? I, I think the Broncos. I've always loved the Broncos. Obviously, right now, we're in a little bit of a turmoil. All right, so... I'm a, I'm a Jets fan, so oh, okay. I, I feel so you. Yeah. you really feel I, it. I've been in a lot of turmoil, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, no, I, Broncos fan, probably. That's probably my favorite team, uh, watching them. You know, watching Von Miller's career, DeMarcus Ware, you know, all the offensive linemen that went there, Peyton Manning's career there, yeah. So. Do you think that you could take away a lot from the from the defensive linemen that, you know, Oklahoma's starting to recruit and bringing in too and kind of, you know, going against those guys in practice every day in this recruiting class? Oh, absolutely. I mean, you got Ashley Sanders, a bunch of the interior offensive linemen. You got Pete, you got Eddie Pudgy over there. Like, we got some freaks over here. Like, some guys that are 
they're great at their craft and with the development of Oklahoma. And the guys, that, you know, Coach Chavis and Coach Bates, with that development, these guys are going to be monsters. You know, and they got a lot of work ahead of them. But, you know, they have, they have the um, ability to be a monster if they want to. Be, me being able to practice with them and train with them every single day will only make me better. So, yeah. As someone who's going to be, you know, in the trenches for the next few years, what are you, what are you looking forward most to about the move to the SEC, and kind of like, what challenges does that present to you? Does that kind of motivate you at all? Oh, absolutely. You know, it's 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 the best league in football. You know, in, in college football, and, uh, moving there is even more exciting. But <clears throat> the thing I'm focused on right now is we have unfinished business in the Big Twelve that we need to take care of. And, um, and that, that's that's the at the forefront right now. We're looking at. Um, SEC will come later. We're excited for that, but as of now, we're looking at the Big 12. So. And when you leave OU, what do you hope to be known for? What, what do you hope that the fans love about you? Uh, I'm loyal. And so, you know, when I sign a paper to come to your school, I'm going to be here for, you know, for all four years. And, uh, and I'm going to give it my best. Uh, I'm, all, I'm a hard worker on the field. I'm mean, nasty. You're going to see me getting into some fights down there. And, uh, you know, just being able to have that mentality, that winning mentality. Um, I hope after I leave here, everyone can say that guy wanted to win, and he did his best. You know, he did his best um, to, to achieve that goal. So, 